welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that how to remove browser hijackers like search me now dot gg now before starting let me clarify that why you should delete and remove and take this browser hijacker very seriously so during a routine investigation the cyber research and intelligence lab they discovered multiple chrome extension that compromised over 2 million users with browser hijackers. So these browser hijacker is an unwanted program that modify browser settings without user permission and redirect them to specific web pages that they do not intend to visit. And once these kind of browser hijackers are installed, they might open the door for the future attack by redirecting user to malicious website. So there are lots of risk included with these browser hijackers and you should find and remove these hijackers from your browser from your computer right now. So let's quickly get started and see that how you have to completely remove it. So now the very first thing that I would recommend you that you should download this Hitman Pro for one time. Run this scan because this will be detecting all kind of infection, trojan and the malware and you can use it absolutely free for one time. Okay, so you will have to come to this website, then you have to click on free 30 day trial, then it might ask you for your email, you can enter the information, your name, and once you have downloaded and installed, then you have to open the Hitman Pro, then click on next. Now here choose the second option that says no, I only want to perform a one time scan, then click on next. The scanning will now be started. Now this will be scanning all your computer, all the browser settings. And if it find any kind of infection, then it will let you know. And even it will give you the suggestion that how you have to clean it. And once the scan will be completed, it will give you some kind of recommendation that what exactly you will have to delete, what kind of threat, what kind of virus has been detected. I'm using a new virtual machine, so it's not been detected. But if you get some suspicious file, then you will have to go ahead and just delete everything. Now once you are done with this, next what you will have to do, click on your windows search, type appwiz.cpl, hit the enter key. Now this will list you all kind of your program and the application installed on your computer. Now what you can do here, you can filter this application and program according to the date so that you can find out that which are the latest application and software that has been currently installed and so because of them you are having the problem okay so here you find an option installed on so click on it once and now it will show you the application installed according to the date wise so i can find few of the application like browser hijack blaster so that looks really suspicious and i think that is the problem so what you will have to do you need to look for the similar application and whichever you feel suspicious malicious or you don't identify you just have to uninstall it okay so do the same with all the other application that you don't identify or you feel suspicious and a part of this if you find any kind of toolbar then you also need to delete it okay so once you are done from here then you will have to open up your browser whichever you use so let's say i use the google chrome so i will bring it up then you have to click on the three dot at the right in top Hover up to more tools and you will find the extension click on extensions and there you will find all kind of extension installed on your browser so now here also you have to look for the extension that you don't identify or you feel suspicious you will have to disable and remove it once done again click on the three dot at the right and top then click on settings now in the setting from the left hand menu option you have to click on privacy and security then click on clear browsing data click on advanced in the time range select to all time and here just uncheck password and autofill form data rest you can check everything then click on clear data and then from the left in menu option only click on reset settings and then click on restore setting to their original default click on reset setting and now you can close your browser now look for your google chrome icon on your desktop right click on it then click on properties then from the top menu option click on shortcut and in the target here you will have to click on the box here 
and if you find anything after application back forward slash chrome dot exe then you will have to delete it okay so what you have to assure here it should be ending with application back forward slash chrome dot exe all right just assure it then click on okay again bring up your google chrome browser click on the three dot at the right and top then click on settings then from the left in menu option click on search engine and here click on search engine used in the address bar and just select this to google if it's been selected to any other you have to change it to google then click on manage search engine and site search and here again you have to look for google click on the three dot on the right of it then you will find the make default option so make sure that you make google as your default search engine now part of that if you find any other then you have to click on the three dot and delete it you can delete all the other search engine so that you can make it neat and clean and once you are done from the left in menu option only click on on a startup then click on open a specific page or set of pages and if you find any other kind of website here then you have to click on the three dot on the right of it then click on remove again click on open a specific page click on add a new page then type www.google.com click on add and now close your browser next you have to click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt then click run as administrator then click on yes and now here you have to run three different command that you will be getting in the description so you can simply copy and paste so copy the first command come back to the black window make a right click it will be automatically pasted Hit the enter key, copy the second command, come back to the black window, make a right click, paste it, hit the enter key again. And now final command you have to type will be gp update forward slash force. And now this will be updating the policy. Once completed, you have to click on close. Now next make a right click on the windows icon, then click on run. And here you have to type percent app data percent again. And then click on OK. Now here you will find all kind of your folder of the application installed on your computer. Okay, so what you can do, you can click on date modified, and then it will list you the folder that has been modified according to the date. So you will have to look for the folder with the latest date, and whichever you don't identify or you don't know, you feel suspicious, just make a right click on it and choose delete. Once you are done, close it. Again, make a right click on the windows icon, click on run. This time you have to type percent local app data percent again, then click on OK. Again, here you can click on date modified. Then according to the date, look for the folder that has been recently installed or modified and whichever you don't identify or you feel suspicious, just make a right click on it and choose delete. And then you have to look for the Google folder, double click on it, then double click on Chrome, then double click on user data, then double click on default. And then here you have to look for extensions, double click on it. Now this will display the folder of all the extension installed on your computer. So again, you can click on date modified and according to the date, whichever extension you feel suspicious, you can just delete the entire folder. Or else I would also recommend you that delete everything from this folder which will be deleting all the extension from your browser but for that what you can do you can again reinstall that a particular extension again okay so according to me you should delete all the extension folder displayed over here all right so finally we are all done simply go ahead and restart the computer and everything is good to go so that's all guys for today in case if you have any kind of question any kind of doubt you can let me know in the comment section and if you find this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye